got the Chevrolet Monte Carlo here staging up for a time race. Up to the line. Boom. On your marks. Get set. Go. <laughs> Was fast, huh? <laughs> right, you like my little rig up here so we don't destroy our little 132 car here. What? That was a little fun, huh? A little different. Yeah, she's a beauty. So the last couple of days, I took some wood I already had and I put this table together. As you can see down in here, I had all this wood here. So I just screwed them to the side, created legs, and I could always add shelves later for my cars and put a drape so you don't see this. Now I know it's big plans, but this right here is what we got so far. And I got to continue making this a little longer. Of course, we're gonna add another eight foot on this and it would make it 24 foot in total, enough to get a good run to where we can see what we got going on. So if y'all into drag racing, slot cars, hit that like and subscribe button to see more updates on this coming up. And hell, just leave a like and a comment just for the hell of it, huh? <laughs> So that's one of the big highlights I did in the past couple of days. And let's get on to the news that the train people want to see. We got the track tied in here. Transition from it being elevated on the roadbed and it's slowly sweeping down onto the actual foam, giving it a more realistic appearance whenever a little truck is up against it, eh? Of course, we got to ballast it and everything and come back later, but it goes through like that and it comes back up, steps back up into this roadbed. It's a gradual sweep. So the way it sweeps is the way we're gonna ballast it. Just like y'all seen in my last video. We come around, all this is done. And it sweeps back into this switch here. So I only have DCC from this point up into this switch. As you can see, I have insulated rail joiner splitting this off from this part here. So from this part all the way to the radii over there, all this is going to be on one block, okay? You, you'll see, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my blocks, but the whole yard is going to be on a block. And I, I want to do that for isolation and separation purposes for, for in case we get shorts on this layout, I can identify them really quick. So that's going to be upcoming also, but at least we got the track work done, the main track work done. Okay, and finally, for the cream of the crop news, the real news, my SD70 ACE. So for quite some time, I had some stalling issues, some sputtering issues amongst dirty track. And quite frankly, I was tired of that. So what I did was put a current keeper in here. The only problem is there's hardly any room in this SD70 ACE, if at all, to put the one I put in. Mine was about, mine was about a half inch wide by three quarters tall. You know, it's like it's a nice little packet, but it wouldn't fit at least from here to here at all. There's too much in here, speakers and whatnot, for it to fit. So what I had to do on this particular version to put it is pull out this little realistic motor turbine setup deal, generator looking deal that sits in the back in here. Now you can't see it unless you really get close to it and put some light behind it to see that. So what I did, I pulled it out and I tucked the current keeper in this area here. And that was the best thing I could have done for space and making this locomotive run better. So let's check it out. Before I put the current keeper, she would definitely stall and sputter, okay? Now we don't have that issue as, as much or if not at all. By now she would have done sputtered once or twice the sound would have kicked on at least by now. No stalls on the trestle. Usually it likes to stall sometimes. It's probably gonna stall here again. Let's see. Yep, it started too right there. <laughs> that's gonna be a feeder to fix that. I'm pretty, pretty confident that's what that part is. Damn it, we got a little derail right there. I mean, what the hell is derailing like that for? Right here, that's something I have to work something out here. I'll fix that, okay. Perfect, and it's, at least it didn't stall. 
right here it derailed, so let me see what the hell happened. No derailing. What, what the hell, man? Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. Ah. I'm going to have to drop me a feeder in here because it's not bad stalled, but it's stalled here. Not much. So there it goes again. We're going to shut her down on this round right here. So, uh, had a little stall. It didn't do that a while ago. We just lost power. I know what that is, though. Let me see. Watch right here. That's from not soldering my, my rail joints. Look down in there, there's no solder, not an inch of solder on here. So we lost power completely, so I gotta solder that. See, even though Dave makes mistakes. <laughs> So let me go ahead and put the lights on and we're going to talk about what we gathered from this video. Alright, so you hear the sound and you see the light. Let's see how long the Keep Alive stays on. So it's still working. The lights are still on. So I say about 20 seconds, maybe 22, 23 seconds, something like that. So what I gather, the Keep Alive works wonders. I'm very happy with it. And from this test and from what it did, and I normally know how my locomotive runs on this track, um, being after I installed it, it's bulletproof. You still have a little problems here and there, but it, it tells me what I need to do, such as add feeders in certain places and fix dips in the tracks here and there. So it's a learning curve. I'm glad I put the Keep Alive in it. And I'm, in fact, I'm gonna put Keep Alive in all my locomotives, only because oxidation, dust, and dirt is a granted thing in my shop here. So I'm gonna have to do that in order to keep a good running locomotive on my layout without any problems so I can enjoy and have fun on the train hobby. <laughs> so that's about it guys. That's what I did the past two or three days. I've been doing all this stuff and I'm really enjoying myself getting this done. So if you like what you see, please like, subscribe and comment so you can follow and see when I put out another video so we can learn together. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.